ranking the best abilities in college football. And boys, we're here with another ability video. Today, we're gonna be talking about each and every single ability you can equip on both offense and defense in college football. Now, before we get into the first couple right here, I do wanna start off this video by saying that this video, of course, is my opinion, and you may have something that really works in your scheme. Just because I don't like something doesn't mean it can't work for you too. So I highly recommend for you guys to even if I'm maybe not high on an ability, but it sounds like it could help you try it out. Before we get into today's video, I do wanna talk about our sponsor sponsor real quick, MMOEXP.com. If you guys want an alternative to buying packs, consider buying coins at MMOEXP and make sure to use code DILLA checkout for 5% off your order. But also let me know down below in the comments if I did miss any. There are a ton of abilities in the game and I might have missed one. I don't think I missed one, but I just want to make sure I have it covered. So the first couple we have are quarterback abilities. And the first one we have right here is Option King. So what Option King does is it's slight accuracy boost on quick pitches. I don't think I've seen a singular inaccurate quick pitch. Just playing up against speed options, having ran speed options. So for me, I, I'm fully on just not using this ability. It's also three AP and ultimate team as well. So I am completely just, we're good off that. So that we get the step up ability. Slight improved accuracy when stepping up into the pocket and not under pressure. What I will say about this right here is if you are playing something like double mug, which is just kind of a crazy disengage style of defense, it's hard to even run this ability because that defense kind of forces you to maneuver in the pocket a way that this ability will not be effective. But what I will say though is I think this ability is okay. Also, before we go any further as well, I do want to say this is based on ultimate team currently, not like the platinum version of each of these abilities. Okay. Just want that to be known. So it's basically ranking like all the bronze versions. We'll keep updating this as abilities improve in ultimate team as well. So this is by no means like the final ability rankings. Okay. Put it D right now, just because again, I feel like the meta defenses in the game make this like harder to run. After that, we get mobile dead eye right here. When on the run outside the pocket, slight accuracy boost to wide receivers up to 20 yards downfield this is for the mobile this is for the mobile quarterbacks right here that do want to roll out slight accuracy boost and you have to be outside the pocket for this to work it is also three ap i'm gonna go ahead and change something real quick though so step up is one ap i think that's pretty valuable i'm gonna put it c mobile dead eye being three ap i'm thinking d or c for this because what i will say is if you run revamp passing i haven't really noticed a ton of on to run and accurates with revamp placement and accuracy on the other hand a little bit different kind of stuck between d or c for this. I'll slightly put this one in the C tier as well because I do think it helps the mobile QBs. Now to that, we got the combo ability potentially with it, mobile resistance. This is improved ability to resist pressure when on the run. This is 2 AP. I think this is more along the lines of like a D tier caliber ability. I think the accuracy helps a little bit more on the run. So I'm gonna leave mobile dead eye over mobile resistance. This is an ability though that you can get silver. It's, it's tough for me. I could see either which way and I don't hate it. Now after that, we get the dot ability right here. Standing in the pocket, slight accuracy boost when throwing to open receivers. Dot is one of my favorite abilities for the quarterback. It's also one AP, so I think it's fantastic value. I will say Dot for me is not an S tier ability though. I'm putting it in the A tier. I think S tier, this changes the game. I think Dot is a really good compliment. I don't think it's needed because I also think you get random and accurate still even with Dot, especially if you get the wear and tear on your quarterback. Like the wear and tear on quarterbacks, I've seen to where quarterbacks lose like 20 accuracy, 20 throw power. It is kind of crazy. Even even if you're not taking the craziest hits. So dot for me is gonna be in this A tier. And then after that, we got pull down right here. Slightly improved ability to not fumble when standing in the pocket. I feel like you already don't fumble a lot in the pocket. I would say if you're really worried about this, just go on conservative and don't spend AP on it. I'm gonna slightly place this one in the D tier. Now we got off platform, slight accuracy boost, throwing cross body or back foot at the receiver is uh, 15 or yards less downfield. One, it's three AP. It's one of the most expensive ones in the game. Two, only 15 yards. This just kind of encourages bad throws. So in my opinion, I'm going to place this in the F tier because I feel like you will maybe make a couple of highlight throws here and there, but 15 yards, this really isn't a lot of range either. I think this is something that could be really overpowered once we're talking about like platinum version. But for this one, I'm going to place it F. After that, we have slide of hand. This one is slightly increased ability to hold defenders using play action on first down or less than three to gain. So this is one that I think is like D tier right now. But when we're talking about like platinum version, could skyrocket. I just think one, you have to run play action on first down. And the fact that actually right now, given the play action patch, the play action bug may be fixed by the time I drop this video. If it is, I'd put it in the D tier. But right now, given play action is also bugged, meaning like you can't put your running back on routes, stuff like that. I'm gonna place this one more along the lines like an F tier because play action just got nerfed into the ground. But two things, one, if they fix that bug, at least D tier. Secondly, it's one AP, good value. This is something that I think will be really, really good when we're talking about like gold, platinum level and a 
it's just play action holds the defenders better instead of making it on first down or less than three to gain. Now, after that, we get Magician right here, slight agility boost and standard pocket movement. Magician is gonna be our first S tier ability today. I think Magician is fantastic man this is probably in my opinion this is the ability that makes like spying qbs containing qbs damn near impossible like this is it's a slight agility boost but i i mean even Cade mac the mara feels like prime mike vick in the pocket back there a little bit of an exaggeration of course but this is a top in ability i think it makes mobile quarterbacks i would say even overpowered now after that we get one that yes you can run it on a quarterback but workhorse slight protection from wear and tear effects when colliding with other players this is also one ap give Given how insane wear and tear is in this game, Workhorse for me, I am placing this in the S tier. Now, there are some things that I'm gonna say are better than Workhorse, but man, is this a great ability to run. I mean, on defensive linemen, on linebackers, on quarterbacks, running backs, people that you don't want to lose. Like, you don't want your quarterback to lose 20 throw power in a game, right? I think running Workhorse on them makes perfect sense. My favorite ability for like the wear and tear effects. And just again, given how kind of crazy the, the effects are workhorse it's, it's hard not to put it in the s tier we have recoup right here decently improved fatigue recovery between plays this isn't like the worst thing in the world but it's also 2 ap i feel like this should be a 1 ap ability and if it's a 1 ap ability i think it's c or b but the fact that it's also 2 ap you can get it on silver currently in ultimate team i'm gonna place this more along lines like like a d tier ability now this is more of like a running back ability it's balanced slightly improved ability to break hit stick attempts it's also 1 ap i'm gonna place this also in the d tier it's it's like eh it, it's not crazy by any means it just really depends if your opponent is going for hit sticks or not now we get extender slightly improved ability to break sacks versus defensive backs given the meta of the game i'm gonna place it f tier now i'm gonna use madden as an example because we have we've had abilities like this like anchored extender agile extender this ability is usually really good when there's a meta defense like db fire or dollar where it's slot corners blitzing right now it's like linebackers from the box that are dissing engaging and looping so I feel like versus most defenses you play this isn't going to be a good ability to run all right and now we get some of like the mental abilities right here road dog slightly increased composure gains on the road we have winning time right here slightly increased of composure with two minutes to go when the score is seven or less we have clear-headed slight protection from composure loss we have fan favorite slightly increased composure gains at home we have best friend right here slight slight composure for the QB when making a first down catch and pretty much all these abilities for me like the composure abilities just when we talk about abilities in the game right now it's tough for me to justify running them i understand why but they're all going to be f tier for me i don't think the composure aspect of this game and ultimate team specifically matters more than say like wear and tear i just think the wear and tear is so much more noticeable than composure so i'm going to place these f tier i may regret that later in a future update but i'm going to keep them there right now we also got field general right here this can identify blitzers post snap i mean if you have eyeballs, you can kind of do that with your own eyeballs. Like, okay, they, you snap the ball, you, you can see who's blitzing. This is an ability though that once it gets platinum is gonna be like S tier and it's like the most overpowered thing, but not really worth it because just identify both uh, blitzers post snap. After that, we get team player slight protection from negative rating impacts when playing out of position. This is gonna be nice when we play like guards out of position or like, you know, it, it's, it's more for overall purposes. I feel like this is just like an F tier ability right now, but it may be useful in the future. Future. Now, after that, we get shifty. This slightly increased ability to maintain speed during cuts and turns. This is for sure S tier ability. I think this is the best ability for running back. It's 2 AP and it's literally as the name sounds shifty makes your running back feel super super shifty so this is going to be an easy addition to the s tier now after that we get into some of the running back moves right here we have sidestep and 360. we'll talk about these three right by each other because this is the juke the spin and this is trucking so trucking i feel like is the most mid right now i'm gonna place this like c now spinning and juking the spin cycle used to be like a to s in my opinion I think right now it's like a good example like a b tier ability like it is okay i think the sidestep is better now I'll play sidestep right by 360 though in the b tier like in my opinion i don't think these are crazy like i use silver sidestep i use silver 360 they didn't go crazy for me like i think dot made more of an impact now i may look to move these two up but right now i think they're in a good spot in the b tier i think they're worse than dot which is kind of hard to compare a qb ability to these two but yeah 
Um, may move both of them up into A later though. Now after that, we get downhill, slightly more broken tackles after reaching max speed. This is another one that I think is really, really solid. I'm gonna place this also in the C tier. All right, now we get the cutter ability right here. Cutter, the fact that it is one AP, I think that's what makes it S tier. I think it's probably the best one AP ability that or workhorse. Slightly improved cut moves against man coverage. Like, I mean, can slightly help you beat the man coverage. Love this cutter ability. It's S tier for me. After that, we get sidekick right here. Decently improved cut blocks when in pass protection. This, in my opinion, I don't really notice it. I'm going to place it F and maybe I'm sleeping on this. Usually if you ID inside, you're running back just auto cut block. So I don't really know what this does. After that, we get jackpot with positional advantage, slightly improved ability to win jump balls deep down the field in single coverage. Kind of like what I was saying about uh, the mobile dead eye ability kind of encourages you to play or make like bad reads. I know throwing 50, 50 balls or jump balls. It just kind of encourages a risky play style, which I'm just not really a fan of. I get why you would like this ability. It is one AP though i'll slightly bump it up in the c because it's one ap now after that we have the press pro right here slightly improved ability to be uh beat press attempts from defensive backs now i have three receiver abilities in the s tier man I, a press pro is going to be one of them too it does exactly what the name says it does man gives you a chance to beat the press now what i will say is maybe this one should be more along the lines of a because if you have any receiver that's off the line of scrimmage and you custom sim a curl route all the way up the field then you just insta beat the press pro anyway or you insta beat the jammer anyway too so maybe should have this one more along the lines like an a tier ability I, I will go ahead and put it a because of the custom sim curl but also if your receiver isn't off the line this is an s tier ability so i could see it either which way after that we get inside shield slightly improved first level double team blocks on inside runs i think this is like a d tier caliber ability it's just the fact that it's also three ap like the fact that it's three ap and it only does first level double team blocks i was thinking about it being more along the lines of f we also have wear down successful blocks on pass plays add slight fatigue to the engaged defender this is also 2 ap i'm gonna slightly put it in the d tier we have option shield right here that is 1 ap slightly improved blocking on option plays when close to the line of scrimmage this is scheme specific like if you're running options basically every play then this is like b a but I think for the majority of people, you're probably not running options every single play. So I'm gonna also place this one in the D tier. And also I'm gonna make another audible. I'm gonna drop cutter down into A because I just think workhorse, magician, and shifty. Like when I think of things that make a difference on an every play basis, these three are it. I don't think cutter makes a difference every single play. So I guess I kind of lied. Uh, we have takeoff right here that is slightly quicker release off the line when not being pressed. Takeoff is three AP, but takeoff is gonna be the only receiver ability in S tier, man. Like this is actually like this is a major major like speed boost off the line takeoff if it was like two or one ap it'd be even more crazy three ap does make it a little bit tough to run but man if you could fit this ability in man it is special we have sure hands right here this is slightly improved ability to avoid drops it's two ap this also excludes dives and jumping catches which i don't know about y'all but what catches are you dropping that aren't dives and jumping catches so for me i'm gonna place it f we also have double dip right here mildly improved cut moves against single man coverage when running double move routes. It's not that this ability is the worst thing in the world. It's the fact that it's three AP, which would I rather run takeoff or double dip? Give me takeoff easily. So this is gonna be something that again is in the D tier for me. Now after that, we get layout, which is slightly improved ability to secure dive catches. I think this one for one AP is not bad value. I'm gonna place this one in the C tier. And now after that, we get into some offensive line abilities. We got quick drop right here. So quick drop, slightly improved movement on standard pass plays. The fact that this is one AP as well it just basically makes your offensive lineman get into the pass set faster i can see the argument for s man do i think shifty and magician make more of a difference because i still think you're getting shedded i don't think it counters double mug it's definitely good i just don't want to say it's an s tier ability so i'm gonna place quick drop more along the lines of like a tier and kind of similar thoughts to like cutter press pro and dot it's like yeah these abilities are great i just think these ones are actually i don't want to say overpowered but make more of a difference on a play-to-play -play basis we get quick step right here slightly improved movement as a pull blocker this is 2 ap and again this is something that is kind of scheme specific kind of like what i was saying about the option type of plays so i'm gonna place this one in the d tier we have second level slightly improved blocking after getting to the second level of the defense and for me i'm gonna say this one is f tier the fact that it's 2 ap and the fact that it's only at the second level you know what i'm saying like i understand the appeal of this we also have option shield right here slightly improved first level double team blocks on outside runs again this isn't like the worst thing in the world improved double 
double team block, so I feel like they should already be holding it down. I know Madden kind of went on this thing where you need abilities to do anything, but I'm gonna place this one also D. We have play action shield right here, slightly improved blocking on play action plays on first down or less than three yards to gain. This one's also two AP though. I'm gonna place this one F. I'm gonna move up the uh, magician one that holds defenders. So yeah, I'm gonna move that up into D. We have strong grip right here, slight boost to lateral shed uh, prevention on run plays. This one is actually pretty solid in my opinion. I'm gonna place this one in the C tier. Now that was all the offensive abilities. Let's talk about defense here where the first ability we got is duress. Slightly increases the effects of pressure on the QB when unblocked and in front. So this is essentially under pressure. Three AP for this is a lot for what it does. I'm gonna put this more along the lines of like a C tier type of ability too. It's like, yes, the under pressure maybe can get you a stop. For me, the reason why I'm not too high on this is just the fact that it's three AP. We also have bouncer right here. Moderately fatigue opposing route runners were, uh, when performing a chuck in zone coverage you can get this on the silver level i'm gonna place it in the d tier i feel like the zone chucks and the fatigue you get from it really aren't that great like it's not like it's not this crazy ability to me now after that we get house call slightly improved ability to catch interception attempts and you can also get this on silver now so house call to me i'm thinking b or a it does help you get the interceptions man it does i'm gonna place it here i don't think it's s tier but it does help your defenders catch interceptions which it's always nice. Issue I'm having is the fact that it's three AP and you can only have two of them. And I think that's kind of what makes me want to put it B. It's not that the actual ability is bad. It's the fact that it's three AP. Like if this was one AP, we have an S tier ability right here. And I would recommend running down on everyone on defense. Now after that though, we got ball hawk. Slightly improved ability to break after a pass has been released. This ability right here, ball hawk, I think it has to be S tier. One of the best defensive abilities in the game. I think ball hawk in zone coverage, really, really Really nice to have so i'm gonna place it in the s tier after that we get robber slightly improved movement and zone coverage now when i've used robber i don't really notice it on the ai i notice this ability as a user defender so i think this is a really good ability on your user it's just again kind of the three ap is really really tough for that reason robber like if you have this on your user and you use this it's kind of crazy. Three AP, kind of hard for me to justify. I'm placing it in the B tier. Now we get Jammer right here. Jammer, slightly increased ability to press receivers at the line of scrimmage. What I will say is I have the same exact thoughts to this and press a pro. And for this example right here, I'm gonna have the Jammer ability on Will Johnson and also my slot corner as well. And we're gonna go into practice real quick and show you guys what I'm talking about with press pro and Jammer. So I'm gonna go into a formation like trio right here where we have 86 and number three off the line of scrimmage. Scrimmage. Now, Will Johnson is going to be on Luther Burden right here, but we also have Aiden White right here on our outside receiver, Dylan Bell. Now, even with this jammer ability, they're not going to be able to press us. We put a curl route on both our X and B receiver that are off the line of scrimmage, and we custom stemmed it all the way up into the end zone. And what you're going to notice right here is they both can't get pressed. So even though we, we did get like sacked right there, they got pressure. Uh, what you're gonna see in the instant replay right here, even with the jammer ability, okay, they cannot get pressed. So for me, that just makes the jammer ability just kind of lose some of its value. And that's why in the same breath, blanket coverage, in my opinion, is the man coverage go-to. So blanket coverage is now my S tier man coverage ability instead of jammer. And now after that, we get knockout, slightly more knockouts and less broken tackles on standing catch attempts by the offense. I don't think this is bad. I don't think this is bad. I just think it's kind of meh right now. I'm gonna play, place knockout in the B tier. I think on that gold, platinum, or maybe even silver level, it'll be a little bit better we also get wrap up right here slight protection from broken tackles on standard tackles solid gonna place it in the c tier we have hammer right here slightly improved ability to land hit sticks excluding weight mismatches for me this is just a d tier ability because it is three ap i feel like it's way too much ap for what it does on the field and now after that we get aftershock slightly increased wear and tear effects to opposing players on big hits so this is also two ap and that that's really my big issue with it i'm gonna place this d tier maybe you can see it f now we get into the D line or pass rush abilities right here. Got all through all the coverage ones. This is quick jump, slightly quicker jump off the snap when pass rushing. Quick jump, easy addition to S tier. I think this is a lot better than quick drop on the offensive lineman. Like this can turn your pass rush up a ton, man. If you ever feel like you're not getting enough pass rush, try this out. Like I on defense, I really uh, bounce between these three main abilities. Quick jump, ball hawk blanket coverage after that though we get grip breaker slightly increased lateral sheds on run plays it's not bad it's just the fact that it's 3 ap
So I'm gonna place it C tier. It, it does a decent job. It's just three AP is a lot. Now we get takedown, moderately increased ability to prevent uh, broken sack attempts. It's two AP for this. And I feel like that's the downfall. If it, if it was like one AP, I'd be a little bit higher on it. And we get inside disruptor, slightly improved shedding against single blockers on inside runs. I actually really like this ability. I'm gonna place it in the B tier. I think it is really, really solid, especially on nose tackles or defensive tackles. We get outside disruptor right here that is essentially inside disruptor disruptor just on outside runs and i feel like the inside runs with dts is better than the outside runs on defensive ends hopefully that makes sense so i'm a little bit lower on this i'm still going to place it in the c tier but give me inside disruptor we also have option disruptor right here and improve the shedding against single blockers on option runs this is also 3 ap i feel like this should be 1 ap for me the fact that it's 3 ap makes it f tier there's really no point to run it and we also have blow up right here slightly improved ability to beat impact block attack attempts and this is going to also be an f tier ability for me i really don't see the point in running it yeah boys this has been my thoughts on all the abilities you can run in college football ultimate team let me know your guys thoughts down below in the comments let me know what you agree with what you disagree with was i sleeping on any ability on this list let me know down below in the comments but if you guys did enjoy this video you enjoy content like this want to stay up to date here with everything that's the best in college football make sure to leave a like and subscribe now if you guys do want to go ahead and see me use some of these abilities live on stream been streaming here on both youtube and twitch to watch on the youtube make sure it's that noti bell as well you'll be notified every time i upload or go live here or if you want to watch on the twitch check the links in the description hit that twitch with a follow but if you guys do want another video to watch check out this one right here